share editing welcome to a to z all in one telugu true hello dear friends in this video i will share with you about one of the great person who have done more risk and effort the independence and who did fight for the people fairness mahatma gandhi his biography Mahatma Gandhi was a prominent Indian political leader who campaigned for Indian independence. He employed non-violent principles and peaceful disobedience. He was assassinated in 1948, shortly after achieving his life goal of Indian independence. In India, he is known as father of the nation. When I despair I remember that all through history the ways of truth and love have always won There have been tyrants and murderers and for a time they can seem invincible but in the end they always fall Think of it always Mahatma Gandhi Mahatma Gandhi Mohandas K Gandhi was born in 1869 in Porbandar India Mohandas was from the social caste of tradesmen. His mother was illiterate, but her common sense and religious devotion had a lasting impact on Gandhi's character. As a youngster, Mohandas was a good student, but the shy young boy displayed no signs of leadership. On the death of his father, Mohandas traveled to England to gain a degree in law. He became involved with the Vegetarian Society and was once asked to translate the Hindu Bhagavad Gita. This classic of Hindu literature awakened in Gandhi a sense of pride in the Indian scriptures, of which the Gita was the pearl. Around this time, he also studied the Bible and was struck by the teachings of Jesus Christ. especially the emphasis on humility and forgiveness he remained committed to the bible and bhagavad gita throughout his life though he was critical of aspects of both religions gandhi in south africa on completing his degree in law gandhi returned to india where he was soon sent to south africa to practice law In South Africa, Gandhi was struck by the level of racial discrimination and injustice often experienced by Indians. It was in South Africa that Gandhi first experimented with campaigns of civil disobedience and protest. He called his non-violent protest Satyagraha. Despite being imprisoned for short periods of time, He also supported the British under certain conditions. He was decorated by the British for his efforts during the Boer and Zulu rebellion. Gandhi in Indian independence after 21 years in South Africa. Gandhi returned to India in 1915. He became the leader of the Indian nationalist movement campaigning for home rule of Swaraj. Gandhi Gandhi successfully instigated a series of non-violent protest. This included national strikes for one or two days. The British sought to ban opposition, but the nature of non-violent protest and strikes made it difficult to counter. Gandhi also encouraged his followers to practice in a discipline to get ready for independence. Gandhi said the Indians had to prove they were deserving of independence. This is in contrast to independence leaders such as Arvind Ghosh, who argued that Indian independence was not about whether India would offer better or worse government. but that it was the right for india to have self government gandhi also clashed with others in the indian independence movement such as subhas chandra bose who advocated direct action to overthrow the british 
Gandhi frequently called off strikes and non-violent protest if he heard people were rioting or violence was involved. G in 1930 Gandhi led a famous march to the sea in protest at the new salt acts. In the sea they made their own salt in violation of British regulations. Many hundreds were arrested in Indian jails were full of Indian independence followers. With the sign shaking the foundations of the British empire. Gandhi after holding up a cup of salt at the end of the salt march. However, whilst the campaign was at its peak some Indian protesters killed some British civilians and as a result Gandhi called off the independence movement saying that India was not ready. This broke the heart of many Indians committed to independence. It led to radicals like Bhagat Singh carrying on the campaign for independence which was particularly strong in Bengal. Gandhi in the partition of India after the war Britain indicated that they would give India independence dear viewer if you like this content please subscribe and kindly recommend to your friends i hope you have a beautiful day edit box <laughs>